then, Mr. Hughes, there was more than just a loan of $200,000. There was to be a guarantee by you. That is correct. None whatsoever on the part of the Army or on the part of the contractor. General, did you know that one of your contracting officers, allegedly, allegedly under the facts here presented up to date, was trying to get $200,000 from uh, the manufacturer of this plane? I never heard about that uh, today, until today. Yes. But if, if you uh, had had those facts during the negotiation, you couldn't have answered the question the same way to General O'Connor or to... Uh, Absolutely not. Yes. What, uh, what would you think about that kind of a proposition? Well, I think that... Uh, <laughs> I'd hate to tell you exactly what I think about it, but uh, any officer or any civilian working for the government would make a proposition with the idea of personal gain to take, his, uh, take advantage of himself in his position, he should uh, be put in jail. So that if, if you'd have had these facts, you certainly wouldn't say there wasn't any evidence of fraud or corruption. Um, I believe the question was asked know, to my I, knowledge. I know. But if I, if I had known yes. things like that existed, I would certainly wouldn't have waited this long to expose yes. it or do something about it. And you. Yes. Now, uh, there's one more thing, General, that uh, I, I'm trying to clear up. If this airplane job wasn't put in one of the production plants, uh, Senator, all of our plants, as far as I know, the people that were handling it were filling up all the capacity in the country. Subcontracting wings, landing gears, uh, fuselages, or any part of the airplane and reassembling and assembling the aircraft and at, at the major plants. Uh, one of the main complaints we had with